What's up, guys? It is Monday, January 16th at 7.46 a.m., and this is the crypto market update. We got a ton to cover, man. Over the weekend, boy, was that crazy. We we saw the melt up. Everything that we've been saying and calling for over six months now has played out to an absolute T. Like we really have our pulse on this market and not just the crypto market, the macro markets as well too, like the stock market, the bond yields, the dollar. We got our, you know, hand wrapped around the the entire markets and we're we're really playing it to a T here. Like we we're calling it beforehand, we're executing on it. We ain't getting execute, we execute, right? So that's what's happening. And we can see on the three week chart for the dollar, the momentum is still headed down. We've been saying bigger picture here, dollar down, bond yields down, crypto market bottom. Everything that we've seen has played out. The The fact of the matter is, are we going to see continuation here? And quite frankly, there's a lot of charts screaming that, yes, we could see continuation here and we could see an absolute melt up out of nowhere that nobody could expect. So we're going to dive into that today. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. You want to get updated in real time when we're releasing these because the market moves so fast. So you want to watch these right away. So you want to get notified for when I drop these videos. So hit that notification bell, leave a comment, leave a like, say what up. I'll say what up back. So let's get into the dollar chart. So the three week chart. We're seeing, well, if we're going back to here, the blue and the pink. So the pink, when the pink's on top, we're bullish. When the blue's on top, we're bearish. And you can see that at this point, when the blue got on top of the pink, that's when we had our crash in the dollar. And that's when cryptos went on an all-out run in 2021. Then when the pink crossed above the blue, that's when we got our all-out bull market in the dollar and our wicked bad bear market for the crypto. We are so close for the blue crossing above the pink. It's not even funny. This candle closes in four days and 12 hours. If we can see the dollar continue lower here and maybe break below that 101.5 level, then we'll see that blue cross over the pink. The bears will be in control as far as the dollar goes. And we're going to see an all out crypto explosion. Absolutely. And I'm going to show you a couple of charts today that will give you a little insight into why I believe that. So we can see that's the case here. We see the momentum as came all the way down. When we saw that back here, that's when we came down on the dollar. We see the dark red. Uh, we're continuing at, you know, increasingly selling off the RSI sitting right at this 50 level. We can break it in four days and 12 hours. Then that is setting us up perfectly for the dollar melt down to continue right so that's what we're watching as far as that goes for the uh, the dollar if we go to the shorter term for the dollar what i'd like to see is us break this downward sloping trend line because if we can break that and head lower then we're gonna have a meltdown it will be an absolute meltdown so that's what it, i want to see for continuation lower if we do have a little pop up here where i'd want to see us find a rejection is here at these local lows that we're bouncing off from like right here. So if we do pop up, I'd like to see us get rejected from 103.5 to like 104.5. That's the level at that range right there. I'd want to see a rejection come in because I'm sure that 104.5 is a 786. If we were to say this is the bottom. So I'm going to grab this top to this bottom and bam, yep, yeah, 104.78 around that area. So yeah, this is the level where I want to see a rejection come in if we do pop up here. But if we're going to head lower, I want to see us break through this trend line that we found some support on ever since like the beginning of December, support, middle of December, support. Now we're touching it here, middle of January. All right, so that's what I'm seeing. Four hour buy now signal though for the dollar though. So that is something that we got to keep on our radar. We are seeing, you know, some continuation for the dollar to the upside is trying to break above this one hour EMA ribbon. Will it break above? We'll see. Another thing we're watching was that six hour TSI. So if the six hour TSI gets above the zero line, then we could have a a bigger kind of relief bounce for the dollar, but we're so far down here. So we're not up 
close to these levels yet. We're going to have to see. But yeah, it's going to be a very uh, telling day as far as how the rest of the week's going to go because we do see some momentum trying to come back in for the dollar, which would ultimately pull down the cryptos and have them have a breather. So let us go into the 10 year yield bonds. 10 year yield bonds, I'm on the two week chart. And we are very, very close to falling off a cliff for this as well, too. And if I hide some of these, so we have this trend line coming up like this. And we're we're sitting right at it right now. I mean, support, 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 support. And we're at it right now. These next 11 days are going to be what spells the a big bounce in the bond yields or a tank in the bond yields. I'm leaning on the side of it's going to tank because you can see on the two-week chart, kind of looks like the dollar we have this increasingly like sell selling pressure stock rsi is down in this area um, what i'd like to see is if the same thing like the the blue crossing above the pink if we can do that then we're going to see the bond yields come down and then let's go into the stock market so we're sitting at eleven thousand five hundred. that's that level that we said is a crucial level to get back above and claim as support you can see that I'm on the 12 day chart. We have a couple buy warnings and I can put this trend line coming down like this. And we're very close to, yeah, we're very close to breaking out above this. We can see that the MACD is trying to curl in, the TSI is trying to curl in, trying to turn this momentum around. And the last time we got these 12 day buy warnings was the great financial crash the great financial crisis. So like once we get a 12 day by now, I'd say that the crash is over, but um, we still haven't got it yet. I mean, we have a day and 10 hours left for this candle year, but we likely wouldn't see the buy now come in on this candle. It would probably be on the next 12 day candle if we can have some nice momentum to the upside here. Now let's look at, let's look at Bitcoin. So it's sitting at 20,808. One thing is that when it comes to the, so we had a weekend pump. So like over the weekend, the stock market is not trading. So as you can see here on the Bitcoin futures chart, I'm going to hide some of this stuff. You can see that we have this gap here that likely I would say we'd have to come down to fill. I'd preferably like to see it come down and fill. And that means we'd kind of had to come down to 20K around that area there. You can see that big gap. Um, so likely we're going to have to come down and retest that. We don't have to, but I would say that that would be healthy for us to pull down a little bit, fill this gap, and then continue higher. We have a lot of sell warnings here as well too. So I mean like the odds are more likely for us to have a correction at this point than it is to just start shooting up higher at this moment. You can see when we have a lot of sell warnings, a lot of sell warnings, sell now, sell now, bam, we, we had a correction, sell warning, sell now. We have a lot of sell warnings here and uh, we are seeing the stock RSI cross down, TSI, MACD. So the odds are more likely for us to kind of pull back down here. And what I think is if we do pull down, we're going to probably retest this pink Fibonacci moving average, which if I pull it up on here is sitting around right on the one hour 200 moving average it's in at like 18,720. So I do think that if we do have a steeper correction, we're going to come down to that level, but we can continue heading to the upside here. As long as we remain above 20,737 to 20,551, if we can hold support right here, then we have a good shot of melting up again. If we break this level, then we're likely going to close the gap, which would be around 20K, which would match with this 20, uh, having to come down to here to 20K to close that gap. Then at that point, if we, we break 20K, then we're going to come down, probably retest 19K, retest this 2.618. Well, we'll hit the 2.618 extension, but probably come lower here to retest this pink Fibonacci moving average, where I do think we'd find support at. That's only if we break this level here, though. We could definitely have enough steam to keep going. It all depends on if the dollar wants to keep breaking down or it's going to have a short little relief rally. So we see that. Another thing is we're repeating similar patterns, but like since this is happening kind of more elongated, this could be the end of the pattern. But like as you can see, you see what I mean? 
so I always say this stuff, they just repeat over and over again, the patterns, but let me hide this and show you how it just matches up, right? Like very similar wave structures, fractals of like kind of coming up, coming to retest this high right here, retest, pull back down, you hold that 786 likely. So like if I were to grab that low to this high, yeah, you, you hold that 786, just like right here from this low to that high, we're holding that 786. So that's why I said we can continue going up in the short term as long as we hold 20,737 to 20,560. So keep that level on your mind there because uh, if we break that, then we could you know, have that deeper correction of 20K. I do see a trend line coming down here. We could do something like pull down like that and then kind of go up like that as well too. So we have to keep that on the radar. So another level I'd say is if I pull from here to there, yeah, that's right on the money, 20,491. So 20,500, I'd say we definitely got to hold that support. So that's what I'd be watching in the short term. But as far as the, the overall big picture for Bitcoin, if we're taking a look at this right here, this is the Bitcoin versus the stock market chart. I'm on the two week. So on the two week chart, you can see that, <laughs> I mean, we're getting a buy now signal, man. Like, and just like you called this top here, sell now, called this sell now. It didn't have a buy at, at this bear market bottom, but it sure did in 2015. We had a sell now up here, sell now on this move. So you, as you can see, at least for the buy nows, last time we got a buy now signal, was back here in 2015, right at the, the tail end of our bear market bottom. Now let's look at a couple of things here. I mean, we're we're sitting on this support that we built since 2017. You can even see that if I put this horizontal line here, bam, right there, that was a key level of support and resistance that we have already retested. And then I can put this trend line like this, bam, and then this trend line like this. And we're, we're starting to break out. I mean, or we're very, very close to breaking out. You can even see that every single time we do this, when you really zoom out, you can get a, a really good picture of everything. So you can see that in these bull markets, we just do a bunch of like wedges, falling wedges, break out, bull market, bear market, falling wedge, break out, bull market, bear market, falling wedge, Breakout, bull market, bear market, fa falling wedge or browning wedge, breakout, bull market, fa bear market, falling wedge. And we're right at that point where we could break out of here and then we're, we're sending it to an all out bull market. Even if I pull out the inverse of this, right? Let's take a look. All right. So this chart is on top, the NASDAQ 100 against Bitcoin. So when the chart is going down, it's actually good for Bitcoin. When it's going up, it's bad for Bitcoin. So it's inverse relationship. On the bottom, I have the Bitcoin chart and you can see how like it, it kind of, it's the same, but it's kind of like inverse flipped upside down. You can see with the vertical dash up on top, when, when this chart tanks, right? We have a bull market for Bitcoin, bam. When this chart has the vertical red, and we top, that's when we find our bottom here and we kind of do this like bear flag until we break this bottom of the channel and we go down again, then we go into our bull market. Then right here, we, we tanked, we ripped. Then at this point, we found our bottom, that was our top. We traveled an upward drift in this channel until we broke down from it. And that was at this point where we had our bull market, I mean our bear market bottom 2015. We started selling off hard in this chart and we went on our bull market run in 2017 until we found our top here. At the same moment, we found our bottom in this chart and we had our upwards drift, our upwards drift. And then the moment that we broke down from this bottom trend line support was when we went into our mini bull market in for the bear market bottom back in 2019. Then we found our upwards drift again 
And then at this point, we broke down. That was our bull market of 2021. Then we found our top here at the same time of finding our bottom. And this whole bear market, what have we been doing? We've been in the same pattern that we've been doing for like, what, 13, over 10 years in Bitcoin is we go on our upwards drift, right? As soon as we break down below this bottom support trend line, the bear market is officially over and we go into an absolute bull market run for Bitcoin. We're at the precipice of us knowing if the bull market is on. That's why I think if we really break up here and make some more high, higher highs past 21,000, it's game on. We're ready to play ball. Like the, the bear market is over and the bull market is begun. And there could be a lot of, you know, fuel be, being thrown on that fire as far as like we can melt up very quickly, kind of like what we did back here in 2019. So we're at the moment, we're at the bottom of the trend line. If we break down here, things could get really, really nice as far as Bitcoin and the crypto market goes. But remember, we have to hold those levels for um, the Bitcoin chart. But this inverse relationship, the stock market versus Bitcoin chart, it's going to put us ahead of the game. I don't think many people are looking at this, but uh, it has called it to a T since Bitcoin's inception as far as calling the bear markets and bull markets. So this is going to be in our tool belt going into this next bull run as well, too, so we can nail the top. So very interesting stuff there. And then we have Ethereum on the two week chart, right? Buy now signal is coming in on this candle. We have 13 days left for this to close. But I mean, the buy nows came in here at the bear market bottom for Ethereum and the sell nows came in at the tops. So the two week chart for Ethereum with the Stargate signals nails the bottoms of the bear markets and nails the top of the bull markets. And right now we're seeing this two week buy now signal flashing. It's spelling out the future, man. Like we are, it's time to get very, very excited. A lot of people still think we're in this bear market and that we're going to have this deep, deep pull down. This is a fake out, a bull trap. I don't know, man. Like I'm really thinking that all of a sudden we could be visiting levels that we haven't seen in a very long time and it's going to catch everybody by surprise. So we'll have to see how today pans out as far as with Bitcoin, if it can maintain above those levels we were talking about. But this is a great positive sign. We've been tracking this for weeks now, and now we're finally getting it. XRP, three-week chart. This is another one we've been tracking to a T. We literally, we have that prepared to buy soon. We're waiting for the buy now. This candle closes in six days and 11 hours. We have a stock RSI cross-up. Check. This MACD is curling in. We're very close in the TSI as well, too. Once that crosses up, see you later. The bull market is on and the bear market's over. And XRP's low point was 29 cents. That's the bottom right there. I touched it and it's looking very likely that we're going to rip up and retest the 50 cent level again. And if we can break above there, then we're heading to 90 cents to a dollar easily. We see the momentum is starting to shift. It's starting to gear up. And these higher time frames, they're on point. You don't want to kind of negate these signals or kind of shrug them off. These are huge high time frame signals that once this flashes, it's game on. Absolutely game on. Now let's look at XLM because XLM on the 12 day chart, we have the buy warnings, just like we had the buy warnings here at the bear market bottom. We got the top, got the top, got the top. And we are seeing we came down to touch the bottom of the void line, the channel, and we bounced. We are calling that to a T. Stock RSI is crossing up. MACD is going dark green. TSI is trying to curl up, cross up. And it's looking all good for us to really put this bear market bottom in and for us to, to fly. It's not like we're just going to grind our way up here. We're going to fly. You can see that we have this trend line coming down since we put in our bear, bull, our bull market top. Rejection, 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 rejection. And now we're pressing up to it one more time and we're seeing the momentum on our side this time. So that's all looking good. Now let's go into XCN because when XCN goes, it's going to be ferocious. You can see that we have this blue right here. When, once we break down from this and the pin crosses up, it's game on. And we're seeing the stock RSI cross up on the two-day chart. 
through the 20 line. We're seeing the MACD green. We're seeing the R, R, the, yeah, the RSI starting to recover here. And once we see that TSI cross up like that, we're going to fly. This could be an easy 3X, a double. This one has been so oversold. It's not even funny. If I pull the one day chart up, you can see we're squeezing tight, extremely tight. Look at, there's not, there's going to be a decision made soon here. That's for sure. You can see we have this bottom channel, uh, this bottom trend line for support. That's right where our bottom of the, the void line is. Then we have this up, this horizontal resistance right there. You can see that's where the top of this void line is. So we're squeezing tight. And once it makes a decisive move, it's going to fly or it's going to tank. But I'm in the realms of saying that it's going to fly. I don't see it tanking, but we'll have to see. We have to watch these levels. We are seeing a switch from red to green here. Last time we seen this green was back here around September 2022 when it was at seven cents. Right now it's at penny and a quarter. Penny in, I don't even know what to say with that. 0 0.012. We're at 0 0.012. So when this thing goes, it's going to go. So we're playing a pair to pair train on that right now. And we'll have to be watching that in the signals. Songbird. Songbird on the 12 day chart. We are breaking that downwards trend that we're talking about. You can see that to be the case. Bam, right there. You can see, bam, we broke out. And now this candle is our confirmation candle. And if I go to a lower time frame, like a five day, let's go to a one day. Yeah, so we definitely just want to maintain above that 0 0.011 because that's where the 786 is. And if I go to the 12 hour, we are seeing the stock RSI crossing up here. We're trying to see the TSI and MACD cross up. And if we can see that and we have the prepared to buy soon, we can see that then Songbird's going to go flying again. That's for sure. Now let's go to H bar. H bar is riding up on this trend line since January 6th. Support, 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 support. It's looking like so far. One day chart. You can see it's just been a bean stock up. I think we're we're in a good position to continue that. Let me go to the 12 hour. So that's what we're seeing. And we have prepared to sell soon, but that doesn't, we didn't get to sell now yet. So until we get that, the trend is up. And we came back down to retest this 50 line for the stock RSI. It's a good level to find some support and curl back up. Now let's go to Algo. So Algo right now, we're on the monthly chart. We have a prepare to buy soon. That's crazy. Now let's go down to a three week, prepare to buy soon. Two week, prepare to buy soon. One week, we just got to buy now in the one week. So that's why like... See how there is the buy now right here. We went lower. That's why we want to wait for the two week, the three week, the monthly. Because once we see those higher time frames flash, we're prepared to buy soon. Now we can go down to the weekly. We see the buy now. We see the six day, probably a buy now. Yep. Five day, buy now, right? Four day, buy now. Three day, buy now. So, like, that's why if we can go out to the higher time frame, see, hey, is it flashing and prepared to buy soon? Then we go down to the lower time frames to see if it's flashing a buy now. Then we get closer to nailing the bottom. And we are seeing the pink trying to cross up through this blue, which would mean the bulls are back in control. And we are seeing the stock RSI cross up. We are seeing the TSI, the MACD. So things are looking good as far as the overall bear market bottom being over. Tezos. Tezos, two week prepare to buy soon. Three week prepare to buy soon. We have, do we got a monthly? Monthly prepare to buy soon, right? So monthly, three week, two week, one week. We just got the one week, 12 day. We have the 12 day prepare to buy soon. Six day. We have the prepare to buy soon. No buy now yet. Five day. We, we're getting the buy now signal. So like everything's screaming to me that the bull market is literally on our doorstep. The bear market is about to have the nail put in that coffin and you're going to see a lot of positivity and optimism flood back into the space. That's what I foresee. I mean, we've been calling it to a T. We've hit the nail on the head for the past like six to nine months now. And I would say that I'd be, if I could take out a million dollar loan and bet on this, 
I would. That's how confident I am in my position on this. So take it for what take it for how you want it, but that's what I believe. And I'm gonna stick to that thesis when going about my trading. So now let's go to CeeLo. Cause CeeLo, we're on the six day chart. I mean, we're rounding out here. You can see rounding out and like that's just what's in the cards, right? So you're seeing that same rounding out, just like how we're rounding out here and then we popped and we went up a ton. This is just bigger. So we're going to go up bigger and we're in the early stages of it, right? So this is what I am seeing, guys. Take it for what you want, but you, you probably see a lot of people out there saying, oh, there's no way the bull market's back or making jokes. But I'm here to tell you that I think that is the case. 12 day buy warning, two week, two weeks about a cross on the TSI, stock RSI is crossing up. We're seeing the blue getting ready to cross down below the 50, the pink's ready to go. Everything's screaming to me that the bull market is literally on a doorstep. Quant sitting at 140.68. You know what I'm thinking? Maybe we should take a look at the Filecoin to Quant chart and we should convert some of our Filecoin into Quant because we nailed Filecoin. I mean, we, we nailed it at the bottom back middle of December at like $2.72, sitting around like $4.60 right now. Everybody thought we were crazy. Everybody thought we were shilling it, but instead we got people a double basically in a month. Now we're looking to position ourselves to the next coin that's more likely to pull a double faster than what Filecoin would do to compound our gains and then look for the next one and then convert it all into XRP and XLM and accumulate more of those holdings. Quant is looking ready to go even more. So what we should maybe do is take a look at the Filecoin to Quant signals in the pair to pairs in the Discord if you haven't already joined. The link is in the bio and we should see what those signals are saying because this would be a grand slam move, I, I believe. I think Quant's going to rip. So that is one thing there. Now let's look at XRP to XLM and it does seem that XLM is going to start to take some steam over XRP. We have a five day sell now come in after we had a buy now back here. We had a sell now back here. We had a sell now, buy now, buy now, sell now at these tops. So the five day for XRP versus XLM usually hits it. So I would say XLM is going to take the cake over XRP maybe over the next couple months here. And then likely when we see an SEC resolution, we'll see that the tide start to turn. Let's look at XLM to XCN because that's what we're waiting on. We're waiting on this trade. We, we converted some XLM to XCN. And even though it's up a little bit, that's all right because we got to stay patient. We got to stick to our guns. We got to you know hold the line and stick to our thesis. We can't be flip-flopping and get an extra cute. We got to execute on our game plan. So that's what I see as far as XLM to XCN. You can see we have this trend line like this. And we're just riding it right now. As soon as we break it, it's done. And if I go to the two-day chart, you can see, no, I'm sorry, the one-day. Well, we have two-day, ton of sell warnings. We have a one-day sell warning. We have three-day sell warnings. We have four-day sell warnings. We got five. We got six. Six, yep. We got a week. We got maybe a 12. No 12, do we got a 10-day. But like we have some high time frame sell warnings for this. And if we go to the one day chart, you can see it's my favorite setup here is how this, these patterns, you know, it's like the waves, man. You can see, bam, 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 bam. Usually when we break the trend line, we have a correction. Break the trend line, we have a correction. Break the trend line, we have a correction. Break the trend line. And look how much we went up this time. When this breaks, I believe this is going to be a grand slam. We're going to make so much more XLM than holding XLM right now rather than converting it into XCN. You can see that it would likely say that's the top right there. We're talking, God, like we're going to make double the amount of XLM just by holding it, converting it into XCN right now. And then converting back when the signals flash. So you can see XCN is sold off so much. And in the Discord, I laid out some of those, those scenarios. 
But yeah, so as soon as that breaks, where it's game on. Quan against Filecoin. So this is what we were looking at for our next swing trade or a pair to pair trade. We had our sell now come up here. We're getting our buy warning. It's likely we're going to get a buy now because we have this stock RSI crossing up. TSI is getting ready, MACD, and this RSI came up fast here. So it's likely this is going to, this is going to play out. So we're plotting a conversion from Filecoin to Quant. If you guys want to do the same, those that, that are in the Discord seeing the signals, I'm sure you're seeing what I'm seeing right now. Let's look at one other thing here. I think it was Songbird that I missed. No, I got Songbird. One thing about Songbird is that on the 10 day chart, we're seeing the stock RSI cross up. This is one thing we were watching with Songbird even before the, even the flare thing when we already got our double was this one, two, three, and then we break and then we come down the pink crosses. So like Songbird could just be gearing up here. It could just be the beginning. I'm really in the in the camp of saying that I think we're all going to be shocked about the moves that are going to be made over these next few months here or over even just the next couple of weeks we could see bitcoin like i was saying in the discord hit 50k by april and that will come from the dollar continuing its meltdown and at least bitcoin holding this level here for it to happen you know continuing the short term to keep going up we're seeing the same similar patterns playing out right we're seeing it so this move we would see happen today and we could be seeing $22,000 by the end of today. So this is what we're going to have to be watching, guys. I will see you guys in the Discord. I'm going to lay out some more in-depth technical analysis on some of these coins individually. I know I have a lot up here, but I'm going to probably make separate videos going through individual coins so we can get a good grasp on uh, the technicals specifically for each one I, i'm not sure if i covered yeah i covered h bar so yeah i'll do that and i will follow up also we're going to be doing a live session tonight getting you guys set up with femex as well as we can run through a couple coins as well too to and you guys can ask me what i think about certain things so i will see you guys in the discord if you haven't already click the subscribe button hit the notification bell and I'll be doing my newsletter, my market update, and I'll be, no, I'm sorry, I'll be doing my newsletter, my deep dive on XLM. I'm going to do a part one and a part two of that because I found a lot of things, so I don't want to cover that in just one video. I'm going to do two videos for that. So definitely subscribe so you can get notified when I release that. That'll be coming out later today. And yeah, guys, let's have a good day. Let's have a good week. We crushed it. At, we've been crushing it in January. Like We started the year off so right. Like if you guys are in the discord looking at that proof of gains chat, add it up, right? Like just add it up and in a short amount of time, that's what you can do, right? So with these signals, we're, we're going to crush it all 2023 and it's our year, man. We're, we're going to crush it all together. We have a solid community and we're making sure everybody's on top of it. We're getting these proof of gains, these proof of receipts. And yeah, man, I'll see you guys in the discord.